I'm honored to welcome you all to the Innovation Africa 2015 and to the warm hospitality of Uganda. Like so many countries in Africa, Uganda is open for business. One of the things I love about the attendees of the event is they're looking for real answers. And each session pushes for more and more specifics. So we start the conversations that are had globally on education, but Innovation Africa gives us the time and the space to actually go deeper on some of the issues and actually work on getting some real stuff done. The roundtables have been incredible and fruitful, and the people are here are decision makers, and we've had a great time. This really shortens the timeline of how we can engage ministries, so it's, it's going to be a great busy year. This is the one spot where I can, in one trip, see so many ministers have very engaging conversations and really try to look about how we're going to work together to move the education transformation efforts that are going on in Africa even faster. Innovation Africa, I think, has been a very fruitful meeting for Samsung. This is where innovation happens. This is where meeting of minds happen. From Kenya to Tanzania uh, to Nigeria, Every meeting has been fruitful and it's all thanks to Innovation Africa and Africa Brains. Innovation Africa and Africa Brains, it provides HP a unique experience to engage true leaders, true decision makers who really have the courage to take the next step forward on providing ICT at education. You get to meet so many senior individuals from ministers of education uh, across all countries from the continent. The African continent is huge and so to have an opportunity in a two-day event like this to meet with so many people and network is really the, the, the key benefit for me. Did they meet all their expectations? Probably not, but they took that first step. So not only do you need the collaboration with industry, the commitment from government, and the community of parents and teachers, we all need that courage to be ready to fail. Because the thing that is at risk is the future of our children if we do not take these steps. And we will work with you so you can learn from that failure and those successes so you can make it exactly what you need it to be in your country. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, again, consistent with the uh, Innovation Africa organizers, this has turned out to be a brilliant opportunity to see how best we can overcome some of the challenges we are facing as we are transforming our education and make sure that ICT and innovation become central to our development. It's a great forum for connecting with ministries and significant role players in the ministries and engaging them in discussion about what it is that Pearson does and how we might come to their assistance in some way that is meaningful for them. This is a great event. IBM is very much committed to African countries to help develop skills, organization, infrastructure and innovation. And an event like this is a unique possibility for us. A very productive and useful event, and uh, I really hope to be here again uh, next year. We work all over Africa, but the challenge coming from London is we have to book a whole week to see a Ministry of Education. So we were really drawn to the fact that everyone was in room room. We'll definitely be there next year, and we would love to see uh, the same kind of high-level contacts coming in and the same visionary panels that we've had this year. I think keep doing what you're doing. I would like to see the complete solution made in Mozambique for the complete solution, hardware, design, software, content, teacher professional development, learning management systems, student information systems, and exporting that not only to Africa, but to the rest of the world itself. Thank you. This has been a great event, um, very interesting. I love the format. It's private-public partnership at its best. And I just felt it would be a great time and a great place for me to be to see what's happening in Africa. It's very important for us to really meet with the delegations from ministries of education and high level delegations to 
talk to them firsthand and show them firsthand what we have. And, and the setup that Innovation Africa provides is exactly that. It really puts all the people together in the same place. We've done this several times um, and every time I think has been better than the time before. What I think has been really interesting this year is a very subtle but deliberate shift towards talking about skills, about talent development, about teacher training. I found that very encouraging and a real move in the right direction. And that makes Innovation Africa dynamic and, and relevant going forward.